So, hello, welcome to the answers for the virus. Uh, let's have a look. What is a virus? Ironically, there is a massive virus sweeping the country at the moment. So, a virus is a secret agent or an agent that can destroy things from the inside. Okay, so when we think of agents, we can think of like James Bond and people like spies, but a virus is an agent which can hide inside and destroy people or computers like a computer virus. Which is the answer to this question. What is this type of virus? It's a computer virus. That's a piece of code which is capable of copying itself and has a detrimental effect, so it makes it fall apart. And it corrupts the system and destroys data. Uh, find a word that can replace buried. So, she buried her head in her hands. She placed her head in her hands. She put her head in her hands. She planted her head in her hands. If you've got any more, let me know. Email them over to the year six at anglec.bm.sch.uk. What is a brow? Well, it's an abbreviation. It's a shortened word for eyebrow. And what's Joe wiping? What's he wiping away? It's sweat. It's sweat. Why? Because he's nervous. He's nervous that virus has corrupted all of his data. Then we meet Spencer. What's her job? Well, she's been, they said, take it up to Spencer. She's a whiz. So her job could be an IT specialist. Someone who has special skills in fixing or building computers or different types of code. Why does Joe get tired halfway through this text? It's because he ran up nine flights of stairs. Nine flights. So imagine your stairs probably 18 times running up those stairs. And the word retrieve is in the text. Uh, it's a good one because it's a skill you need to know. So what does retrieve mean? It means when you go and get something or fetch something, like a dog would go and get a stick, or if you extract, it's when you take something out. Why would they have two large cups of coffee? Think of the context. So it's going to be a long night. So coffee contains caffeine, and this makes the body stay awake for longer. The word large suggests that it's going to be a long night. They're going to need a lot of coffee. Right, so this one. It's maybe to get some of the words you have to read into the next paragraph and then go backwards. So, a something number of the Wawa something, once thought to be extinct, has been discovered on the island of Madagascar just off the something of South Africa. Its something are jet black and tipped with a mixture of browns and greens. Little wonder that, little wonder then that this treasure has remained something for so long. A batch of no more than four something is laid at any one time during mating season, once hatched. And once hatched, the somethings are fed on a diet of worms and insects. The young grow at an incredibly something rate and are ready to fledge the within five weeks of hatching. So, think to myself, a something number. Well, numbers are big or small. Think of synonyms, large tiny hmm of the wawa something now i'm not sure what that is but if i read on it says it's something are jet blacked and tipped with a mixture of browns and greens then it says a batch of no more than four and they eat worms and insects i think to myself what could eat worms and insects probably birds once thought to be extinct has been discovered on the island of madagascar just off the something of south africa the edge, the top, hmm, South Africa's got sea, what do we call that? It's a coast. It's something called jet black. Well, if I'm talking about birds, I know it might be wings. If it's a treasure, what do I do with treasure? I bury it. And if I'm burying treasure, then it's, it's hidden. So hidden for so long. A batch of no more than four, or what do birds lay, eggs, and then what do we call the young? They're chicks. The chicks are fed on a diet of worms and insects. The young grow at an incredibly, hmm, something rate. So it's gonna be slow or quick, 
But if they're ready to fledge, it means they're ready to leave after five weeks. So it's going to be quick. And where do they live? They live in the nest. Hopefully you got all those right. And thank you very much for listening.